Hi everyone! Welcome back for your fourth lesson of Eat Well, Play Hard. Today we're going to do a lot of things. Today we will start by talking about snacks, the different colors of food, and what makes a balanced meal or snack. Then we're going to look at how to make a parfait. If you don't know what a parfait is, you should be really excited because they are really, really good. Let's get started talking about the colors of foods and different types of snacks. So what are some of your favorite snacks? Name a few out loud. I'll think here as well. All right, I know mine. Some of my favorite snacks are popcorn and bananas, and I like to snack on cheese, and sometimes I like to snack on some things that aren't as good for me too, maybe like chips or sometimes even chocolate. There's a lot of different snacks out there. So let's talk about what makes a balanced snack. Are you ready? All right, so here's a picture of my plate. We've all seen this before. And as I just mentioned a minute ago, one of my favorite snacks is a banana. So what food group would a banana go in? I'll give you a hint. It's on this side. You're right, it goes in the fruits group. So in order to make a well-balanced meal or snack, we want to make sure we have at least two different food groups. Hmm, so I wonder what I could have with my banana to help fill my belly up. I'll give you two options. Should I have peaches with my banana? Or should I have peanut butter with my banana? Let's think, it should be a food in a different food group. So what food group do peaches go in? You're right, they go in fruit. So I think we have enough fruit with the banana. What about peanut butter? Interesting, I'll help you out here, it's a little tough. Peanut butter is a protein to help build your muscles. So if I had peanut butter and a banana for a snack, I would have a well-balanced snack. Let's try another. Let's say I want to have some yogurt for a snack. Well, does anybody know what food group yogurt goes in? That's right, dairy. So if I'm having yogurt for a snack, I should probably have something else with it so I can balance out my food groups. Hmm, let's see, I'll give you a few options. I could have celery with my yogurt, or I could have peaches with my yogurt. Hmm, well either one works, but which one sounds a little better? I don't think I'll dip my celery in my yogurt, but I might mix it with peaches. So I think peaches and yogurt would be a great snack. And let's say I'm feeling really hungry. Sometimes having three food groups is even better because you get all kinds of different vitamins and minerals and all that good fiber for your belly. So let's make a snack with three food groups. I have a hard boiled egg. Does anybody know where a hard boiled egg would go? Hmm, protein. So I have my hard boiled, boiled egg in my protein group. With that hard-boiled egg, I was thinking maybe I could have some sugar snap peas. So I could have a hard-boiled egg and a, and a vegetable, right? So that's two different food groups, and that sounds good so far. But even a little extra to really make sure my belly's full, I think I might even have a little bit of cheese. So I'll put my cheese in my dairy group. So I might have a small amount of cheese, not that whole thing. I might have an egg and some sugar snap peas. Does that sound like a balanced snack? Of course it does. Time to do some thinking. Think right now, what is your absolute favorite snack to have? Hmm. Do you have it in your head? Once you have that favorite snack in your head, think about what other foods you could have with it to make it a well-balanced snack. So for example, if your favorite snack is tortilla chips, then maybe with those tortilla chips, you could have some fresh salsa, or you could have some cheese, or you could have a banana. What could you add to your favorite snack to make it even better? Talk to somebody in your family about that right now. Another part of snacking healthy is to still make sure you are eating from the rainbow. So in just a second, we are going to play a game. You will see different colors flash up on the screen. When you see a color flash, you want to name as many foods as you can that are that color, okay? It'll go pretty fast, so you want to get your thinking caps on and try to name as many as you can. Sound good?
I think we should make a healthy snack together. So we're going to make a parfait. A parfait has yogurt, fruit, and granola. Yogurt is in the dairy group, fruit is in the fruit group, and granola is in the grains group. So that's three different food groups. Does that sound like a well-balanced snack? Of course it does. Let's go make it together and then maybe later sometime you and your family can make one similar. I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. For my ingredients, I have yogurt, I have blueberries, strawberries, and I have my granola. You can use packaged granola, you could use cereal, you can use whatever you'd like. The way that I made this was I put a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan and all I did was put in some whole grain quick oats that I showed you before and some cinnamon. If you wanted to sweeten it up, you could add a dab of maple syrup or raisins or craisins. You could add nuts or seeds. I didn't have a whole lot of those things, so I just chose to make some plain oat granola. So when you make a parfait, you can make it however you want. I'm going to, like I said, not follow the measurements on the parfait page. I'm going to just do what I think will taste good, but you can choose what you want to do. A good chef doesn't have to follow a recipe. So I put some oats in the bottom of my cup, and I think I'll add some plain yogurt on top of that. And if you don't like plain yogurt, remember you could add a little bit of cinnamon or maple syrup to your yogurt as well, if you need to sweeten it up a bit. But if you're using a strawberry or raspberry yogurt, you are adding a lot of extra sugar that your body doesn't need. All right, next I think I'll put in a few blueberries, and I'm just layering my parfait. And like I said, I'm just doing it however I want. I'll put all the blueberries in. Save the strawberries for the top. So now I will use my granola and this pan's cool and my hands are clean. I always wash my hands when I'm cooking. If this pan was hot or if my hands were dirty, I would not be doing this. And if I were serving this to someone other than myself, I also would not have done that. But this is my parfait. All right, I'll go ahead and put another scoop of yogurt. And now I will get my strawberries on top. And I have a beautiful parfait. Let me show you what it looks like from the side. Look at that. It looks good enough to eat. So I hope that you are able to, at some point, make yourself a parfait. It does not have to be strawberries and blueberries. It could be kiwi, it could be pear, it could be mango, it could be banana, whatever you want to use. Remember, your granola could be store-bought, it could be plain quick oats like I used, it could also just be cereal. Whatever you'd like to use will taste great. I hope you enjoy.